shop. Black buck, Catalina goat, three pigs, one turkey, and then I'm not sure how many doves and rabbit. I'm 12 years old. I've been hunting since I was nine. Uh, we pray that as we're here that we're all successful in our hunts and that we, we grow close to you, God. And uh... What we do here is basically uh, everything else that camp would usually do. And we incorporate all those games and having a good time and fellowship with one another with hunting as well. Crosses on red dot? Yes, sir. Take a deep breath and when you let out, squeeze. Kids these days are tied up to some sort of electronic device, you know, most of the time of their lives. So to be able to get totally away from that and kind of back to what life used to really be about, and that was, you know, hunting and bonding with others, doing that and creating a friendship with the creator at the same time seems natural. From the time I was a little kid, you know, I had the BB gun running around trying to shoot a little bird or whatever else or just target practice and, and having fun. That's just what we did. I couldn't think for a second of not being able to grab my rifle or my shotgun and head to the farm or, or the ranch and just go hunting. It's really exciting. You get to like have an adventure, I guess you could say. That's really fun to me. Miguel is a returning camper. Yesterday, you know, a pig steps out at 40 yard, and even though he's shot animals before, he still gets excited. The adrenaline still kicks in. Stay on him. Okay, Harry, can you see his shoulder? Yeah. Squeeze. And he, he missed the pig right there in front of the blind. It's all about attitude, and these kind of things will translate into other aspects of these kids' lives. I've learned that patience is one of the most important parts and that you have to be really calm when you're getting ready to shoot. Squeeze, buddy. Right on the shoulder. He's hit. I hit him. He's hit. Yes.